Welcome to Earth Juice. This week, scientists have revealed that vast ocean eddies are mathematically akin to black holes, and it made us wonder what would happen if Earth got sucked into a galactic one. First off, what's an eddy? An eddy is a swirling mass of water and the reverse currents created when that fluid flows past an obstacle. Now, the most commonly seen as whirlpools downstream from rocks in fast-flowing streams and rivers. But they are not restricted to rivers. Oceans have vast versions of these eddies, and thanks to recent mild winters, they are on the increase. The seas are awash with these vortices, which can suck down flotsam and jetsam, as well as small animals and fish. But they are notoriously difficult to study. Although they can measure up to 150 kilometers across, that is, that many miles, they are chaotic and they can appear so from both in and out of the eddy, and their exact boundaries are almost undetectable. So oceanographers from ETH Zurich and the University of Miami turned to maths to develop a new technique to assist in their research. Professors George Haller and Francisco Beron Vera were able to use satellite imagery along with this new mathematical technique to isolate some of these eddies. And to their surprise, they were mathematically akin to black holes with closed barriers from which nothing can escape. So it seems that something very like black holes could exist right here on Earth. But while there are stories of eddies pulling ships to their watery grave, there are no actual confirmed reports of that happening. However, it did get us thinking. If we reimagine the universe as an ocean and us all sailing on the good ship planet Earth through it, what would happen if a supermassive black hole were to form and suck us in? Like the oceanic eddies, black holes are notoriously difficult to study. And in fact, astronomers are still debating as to where exactly the nearest active black hole is. But if a black hole were to appear within a thousand light years or less of the Earth, we would be in trouble. And the first thing we would notice is that the familiar night sky would start to look different. Now, a thousand light years might seem like a huge distance, and actually it is. One light year is 10 trillion kilometers, and that huge distance would buy us a bit of time. In fact, humanity would have a few hundred thousand years before things started to get really interesting as we got to within 100 astronomical units of the black hole. Now, I know we all love a unit, so let's define an astronomical unit. It is 149,597,870,700 meters. Or perhaps more simply, it's the distance between us and the sun. At that point, our entire solar system will be completely off kilter, and the Earth will either end up too far away from the sun or too close to it, meaning we'll freeze or burn to death. Which means that unfortunately, or fortunately, we're going to miss the final apocalyptic event. That's going to happen at around one astronomical unit away from the black hole, when its gravitational force becomes so great that it rips the planet apart. Large chunks of the Earth will be sucked closer and closer to the dark heart of the black hole, getting smaller and smaller as they approach the centre, until everything is gone, including Chuck Norris. I'll leave you on that cheery note this week. Fingers crossed we're all here next week for another Earth Juice. If you want to know more about black holes, check out this video from Vsauce where he goes into some great detail about them. And if you want to know more about the mass behind those ocean currents and the vortices, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Earth Unplugged. Frogs shed their skin on a regular basis to keep clean. Some do it every day. And after they've pulled it off, they swallow it. But frogs can't swallow without blinking because they use their eyeballs to help push food into their stomachs.